Okay, I put uh, liver plate 105 on this. I'm going to go in number one, intake, and I can lift her up and down, which is good. Here's my two intake. The same thing with it. I've got these numbered wrong. I just went one through four on this side, one through four on the other side. Sometimes you got to lube them a couple of times so you can make sure that they slide up and down. I don't know, it's kind of hard to show on a video, but you can feel it. If the lifters slide up and down like they're supposed to, that one does. Just a good idea to kind of make sure that stuff's working like it should. You can put these together without doing this, but it's kind of a good idea. Just, you won't have to adjust the valves as often, especially if you're using used parts. If you're using new parts, it don't matter. Yeah, that's exhaust valve on four. Move it up and down. Okay. We're going to install the rocker shafts. Make sure all these are seated. Pull up and down on them just a little bit. Make sure that they're nice and free. Put a little bit of lube on each one. Put a little lube right there. Install the rocker shaft. This is kind of important. There's a couple of guide pins here and here, or guide dowels, I guess. We're going to move here. Yeah, a little bit on the threads. Just to kind of get them started. I'm going to put some oil on all these shafts before we put this thing totally together. There's five bolts across here. They're all the same length. There. There. I'm going to start this one and this one first, just because there's a dowels there. I'm going to get everything kind of started. It's weird, the center one has, looks like a dowel, but it's not. Run this up. You can go ahead and loosen all the adjusting screws if you really want to screw with it. Not a big fan of it. Usually what I do though is I push all of okay. we're gonna start on the middle and hopefully everything comes down flush it looks like it that looks good part of the deal here is you're pushing valves down that are on the uh, cam lobes that are up. You're never going to get all the cam lobes in the unloaded position. Okay. 
And if you look up in here, where the, the feet come down on the head, you'll make sure that they come down even. Okay, after I've verified that all the push tubes are on the rocker shafts all the way across, I'm gonna to torque this to 30 foot-pounds. Start in the middle, torque my way out. install the driver's side. Okay, I was going to loop the, the bolts, put them in, do there, the threads, so then do the, the head. Go ahead and install the rocker shaft. Biggest thing again, like I did on the other side, I'm going to make sure the push tubes line up. There, there, there. Start in the middle. This one and this one have dowels on them. I'm going to make sure those are started correctly before you get too carried away. And I'm going to push that rocker shaft back. Before I'm done, I'm going to make sure that there, 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 make sure we're still on the valves, there, there, I mean on the valves here and here, there. We're going to go ahead and torque those to 30 foot-pounds. Let's start at the center. There's one. That one's tight. Running them down does that. Come across and recheck. The other thing you can do is go ahead and turn the engine over and make sure that you don't hear any uh, or feel any rough spots. So I'm just going off the front of the the crank, kind of watch the valves move, using kind of a short bar, because if something was hitting, I would feel it, and I'm not feeling it, turn it around a few times just to make sure. Now I need to go ahead and set the valve lash. I didn't feel anything hitting. Basically a valve lash is between the rocker arm and the valve bridge on each cylinder depending on where the stroke is.